focused mind is a dangerous mind. If you're able to empower the thought, suddenly the power of that is big. They can make you sick just by looking at you. We have simple methods. It's a tremendous possibility. Namaskaram Sadhguru, they say evil eye brings bad luck and can cause harm. What is evil eye and are there methods to ward off evil eye? So does that things exist? Yes. People can influence things. Right now, if I just take this water and look at it for a minute, we can prove today the molecular structure of the water will change. So now if I look at this, why shouldn't the molecular structure of the water inside change? It will. It can change in a positive way, it can change in a negative way. Both are possible. A focused mind is a dangerous mind. Dangerous or not is determined by the intent. If you're able to empower the thought, then the thought becomes very powerful. An angry mind, a lustful mind, a very loving mind, all these are powerful minds. The reason is not because of anger or love, simply because they become one-pointed. If something becomes one-pointed, suddenly the power of that is big. Now if you do this, it won't hurt somebody, you know. You make it like this, it hurts somebody, isn't it? Because it becomes one-pointed. The same force, but it's one-pointed, suddenly it's creating a bigger impact. So, one-pointedness may happen out of sheer awareness or with sadhana or because of anger. When you're really angry with this person, your mind is one-pointed, just see. In love it may wander, but <laughs> in anger and hatred, Mind becomes one-pointed. Because of that one-pointedness, it can influence. So people who are in extreme states of anger, hatred, greed, when they really focus on something, things can happen in the other person. I said, it can happen, not that it will happen. It also depends on how vulnerable you are. If you are organized in such a way, External influences do not determine what happens within you, doesn't matter who looks at you, you can be free from that. If you are vulnerable because you are constantly being influenced by everything around you, if you are in such a state, it is possible that certain people can influence you. They can make you sick just by looking at you. It's very much possible. There are people who can cause death just by looking at somebody. If you can cause ecstasy in somebody just by looking at them, you can cause agony if you want, you know. Just a different switch, that's all. It's like your tap, if you turn this way, it's hot water, cold water. Mind is just like that. It can be used in many positive, phenomenal ways. It's a tremendous possibility. But people choose to use it in different ways. Whatever we make, which can enhance life, which can save life, which can beautify life, the same things can be used to destroy life, to horrify life, isn't it? Every day it's happening, technology. You could use it whichever way. This is also just that. This body and this mind can be used in the same way. This is why Indian women used to wear a big And uh, it was supposed to be made of certain material. Turmeric and lime was used so that it doesn't affect. Particularly if a woman was considered very beautiful, then 
they will make it much bigger. Because naturally people's eyes will fall on somebody who has a certain physical presence. So it should not affect her health and well-being and whatever. So they made it much bigger. So if you consider yourself beautiful, you must have a <laughs> You're a tiny one, I understand. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't get into all these things because then you will start thinking, right now I am getting a stomach ache because she looked at me. <laughs> I got a headache because he looked at me. <laughs> Don't get into all that. For this we have simple methods, we give you a fire wash. You want to wash fire wash? It's called Klesha Nashana. That means an act which will take away the impurities that gather around you. Because your body is not just here, your body doesn't stop here, it extends itself. Have you noticed, probably women are more sensitive to this than men. You don't have to be touched by somebody. If somebody comes a bit too close, not a psychological thing, that's a different matter. Psychological and emotional aspects are there. Leaving that, if somebody comes too close, right there itself there is a feeling that, you know, you want some distance. They haven't touched you, just like this. This itself causes some disturbance, isn't it? Because the body doesn't end here. The energy is little beyond that. How much beyond that depends on how exuberant your life energies are. If your life, life energies are truly exuberant, you can fill this hall with it. Otherwise, it is at least a little bit. For most human beings, it could be anywhere between three to nine inches outside of their body. So you gather material on your body, you wash it. Similarly, you're gathering other kinds of material upon your energetic system. You can wash this water with water, certain impurities will go with that. Similarly, there's a fire wash, which you're calling drishti. Is it necessarily happening because of other people's look or not? That's a questionable matter. But impact of life around you upon your energy system is definitely happening. If you have a spiritual process within you, that is you're doing some kriya or you're doing some meditative processes, then you don't need all this because you know how to wash yourself from within. <laughs>